Hey traders, John Hal here, officialjohnhow.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at HD, Home Depot, and let's see what's actually doing on that chart itself. So let's get straight into it. All right, traders, anything I do say in this video is general advice only. Uh, do not take a trade based on what I'm telling you today. Simples. <laughs> All right, now guys, we're looking at the at Home Depot right now, and we're looking at the daily chart, and we're looking at probably a good sort of, uh, this is about sort of, this is now six months worth of trend. And you can see by looking at this daily chart, guys, first we can see the daily chart that the market is continuing to rise despite the market actually being very weak um, on the overall, especially the Dow Jones being very weak. Um, looking at that. So you can see what's happening through there on, on Home Depot on that chart. But if we have a look at the weekly chart, let's have a look at the weekly chart. We can actually see what's happening here on the weekly chart, right? We can see that if I bring this up here and show my trend lines, you can see here we actually have a weekly trend line coming up through there. And we're also at this area of resistance up here too. So you can see on this weekly chart, guys, we're up there. Again, the stochastic's almost there as well, so I'm not sure if that means anything uh, anything at all because obviously when the stochastics get pinned, the market keeps going up. So it wouldn't really focus on that, especially on the weekly, weekly chart. But as you can see on the daily chart, we're actually at this double top now uh, on, on Home Depot. And if I go back to now the, the daily chart, you can see how we're just, we're in a, in a really nice upward trend. And if I go to say the bottom through here, you know, we're in this uh, sort of channel through here. And if I draw that through there, and then it just to create a parallel trend line and, and look at this and have a look at this channel through here. That's the channel that I do see that's that's in the market right now. We'll go back down the bottom here. And that'll be the channel I'm likely to use. You can see how it didn't close above there, hit there, and now we're at this resistance through here. So if it does break up, guys, uh, traders, we're, we're likely to see more upside to come to, to the high side through here. Um, if you if you squeeze the chart right up and take everything off the screen, you can clearly see we are definitely making higher peaks and higher troughs on the daily chart. We are back above the moving average. As you can see the 52 is now pointing up as well too. And despite the market being very, very weak, especially the Dow Jones, Home Depot continues to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Got a bit more of an increase in volume as well too. You can see the market today, or by when, actually when doing this recording, it had a bit of a gap down and then and then it rallied back up towards the close. So if we do break above these highs here, if we do start to close above these highs here, have another rally to the high side, then that could be a good chance of seeing a rally back up towards the top of this channel. But looking at that and looking at the stochastics, I wouldn't be too surprised to see to see a pullback. And the reason why I say that, guys, is you can see that these this here was also a nice turning point through the market here. This here was a nice turning point for the market there. You know what I mean? So and you can see that these points through here, generally on the stochastics, are going to give you some nice turning points. Now, they don't always work, but they're generally going to give you some, some turning points in the market to be considering. And if we are up the top here, and you can see now we're up the top here, we're getting pinned, and the market's just gone sideways. That's actually quite a bullish signal, but it's a bullish signal, and it's a bullish signal in the fact that we, it has a good chance of breaking up, but if it does break up, it's likely to be short-lived and then breaking back down. I'll give you an example uh, of, of, a, of a trade that I actually did has the exact same setup. This is RAD, right? You can see here, right? RAD had a, this this day here. I got in on this day right here. Let me just do this here. I got in on this day right here. I got in right here. The market broke up. I knew it was likely to be just a one day trade. So I got out the very next day here because of the way, look where the stochastics were. And then the market broke back down. So going over to Home Depot again, guys, Oop, going over to Home Depot, you can see that's exactly the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying there. So anyway, guys, if you'd like to learn more information about how I trade the markets, then click on this image up the top here. It's going to give you a free trading course. Remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.